Hi, this is Shady. Today we're going to be looking at this Uchimata legend, the 2000 Olympic champion Kosei Inoue. A lot of people know him just for his competitive prowess, I should say, and he was very well known for this technique that you see here, throwing people who are 100 kilo and over 100 kilo, like their 70 kilograms, is nothing short than of legendary. So. But he is very multidimensional, I should say. He also competed in kata, as you are seeing here. So uh, not a lot of people know this. And also he is an author. But I figured that since you re we rarely saw him during his competitive days go to the ground like here, I figured uh, because he was so good standing up, uh, people that doesn't don't know just how good he was on the ground and he had that one good strangle that you see here the Okuri Eri Jime or the double lapel strangle here you see caught people call it the clock choke so recently I stumbled upon this ground footage is 30 minutes long I'll put it in the description and we'll see what he likes to do so here you see you're gonna see a lot of this hikikomi gaishi and um, he has a lot of very fundamental stuff that work wonderfully. And he, as you can see here, his leg is stuck. And now here, this blue belt, so not very advanced at all, is trying to do fancy moves, very expected of beginners. So look at this guard pass. So over, under, and with a straight posture, shifts his hips to the side you see even Oda doing it in a very old footage and then sinks um, his weight and gets this uh, pin here then the guy is forced to turtle so this um, guard pass I've shared this many times Hickson is a very big fan of it you need a very good posture, otherwise you can get submitted. So, But it's also a very good pass when it comes to understanding how to shift your weight, where to put pressure, etc. And here you see it very much like Inoue did. The legs were already open, so one hand on the stomach while the elbow is securing the inner thigh. So you prevent a triangle and then from here it's all from your hips sinking and rotating around it's very fundamental and classic and I'm glad that he stuck to those elements you can see a little bit more so very similar to what you just saw here so this round ends then he gets to this other one and here he gets a collar and sleeve guard now I noticed something that in judo it happens a lot when someone is very advanced they like to turtle and then they let you work and from there as you are trying to get the submission that's when they escape even when the round starts sometimes it's just immediately turtle and let you work so here he rolls him over uh, escape his back attacks and now here he is in this uh, Niju Garami. So he did something here that I found quite interesting. So he is isolating the arm and uh, getting a bit to the side so he can target the arm. Now he gets a straight Ude Garami and notice how he's putting pressure on the wrist with his forehead. He wanted to lift the elbow obviously to lock it but he bent his elbow and brought it back to his belt. This He looks like a big guy and obviously not having your leg free you are yourself limited as well but that forehead uh, detail I, I appreciated it so he kept circling around until he gets the pin this guy is a brown belt so this is a straight uh, ude garami or entangled arms or americana they call it in brazil so you pinch your elbows together and then you lift your elbow there you, you lift your elbow that's underneath the arm then it fully locks the elbow now imagine pinning it 
pinning the wrist with your forehead, that's a plus. So here he gets, the guy just gives up. In judo, if, you, if we found ourselves not getting out of a position, we just tap because it's not going anywhere. And also, obviously, the rules play a big role. Now, next round here, open guard. Look, just as I said, immediately turtles lets him work. And here he tries to close any opening that he tries to uh, take advantage of. And then here he gets his hooks in to try to work, flattens him out. And he's just letting him work, clearly. Look at his hands, not grabbing anything. A bit defensive. He knows he's not in danger. Again, it's very common for advanced people to do that and then once you make a little mistake they take advantage of it and then they beat you that's how they work usually so he's trying to take the back trying to strangle him it's on the chin nothing is happening he's clearly relaxed and then from there he will try to turn over and then start to work so he's open guard and then gets back up. Now, this is something that he he does quite a lot. This one here, this belt grip, obitori gaishi, or hikikomi gaishi. And um, it's a turnover from the name, you grabbing the belt and turning them over and gets the pin. And it's a finished classical uh, kosen judo. You see it in their tutorials, these old ones where Kimura is in them. Here you see, puts one leg here on the belt, threads the other one, reaches over for the belt, flattens him out, and then the side where he's grabbing the belt, he hooks the inner thigh and then sweeps to the side while uh, gripping the other arm. So, classical hikikomi, gaishi, into Osai Komi or the pin, you see him do it many times. Or here, if you have your arm on top of the belt, on top, like an overhook on the belt side, you can turn them over on the other side as well. So here you see, he also, I, I, I noticed that he likes to lay on his back and work a bit. Here you see, he pulls collar sleeve, gets the belt with the hook, and now he's just ready to sweep. People call it butterfly, and the other guy is, is insistent on turning over on turtle. And here he does it again, gets a pin, very easy. Now here he is attacking the turtle, and watch what he will do as a choice of strangles. That's a very classical Japanese thing, the back takes without the hooks. You see even Yuki Nakai, I believe, has a DVD on it. And from there, you can mainly get a lot of strangles. And this is what he actually goes for. So he will try to get the double lapel, much like his competition days. And here he's fighting it, keeping him down. He clearly got it. And then now he's it's time to roll him over, much like the 2004 Olympic Games. Double lapel gets the tap. Brilliant. So this is classic. Okuri eri jime. So it's this is the basic form. You can do it by pinning the wrist to their side. You can do it by grabbing the pants, uh, bow and arrow, a bunch of variations. Even kanto choke, I believe, falls under the umbrella of this technique. But the very basic and fundamental form is this double lapel, and it's my favorite. And um, you, saw, you saw him do it in the 2004 Olympic Games in the beginning of the video. And here you see him with the legs inserted. Now here, watch. He ha the guy has a cross face. He's trying to, to, uh, to get a pass. But what he did was open his legs because one of the other leg is trying to get in. And now he had a full open guard which gets him and pushes off the cross face. That was great in my opinion. And now here you see no hooks and gets a strangle here at the end he gets it so now this one here a sweep the guy tries to turtle to avoid the pin gets the lapel 
isolates the arm and then from there he switches to to turn him over and strangle him with a beautiful kata ha jime or single wing strangle brilliant so this is it you tighten the noose and then you pull the lapel across and you single out the arm and press on the back of the neck as you slide the collar which basically closes off everything to the head so i i really appreciated his uh his newasa style it's very much fundamental i like the how he uses the open guard to immediately sweep it's not just to oh, i want to tap guys off off my back all, all the time obviously you can do that but um, to turn over and do these uh classical moves and classical strangles and arm locks at the same time i really appreciated it it's nice to see him roll like this not just as a stand-up and throwing machine uh, that he is i, I like his uh good approach the passing the, the the guard now the turtling thing again it's for for beginners but um it's it's it was very refreshing to see it so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was shady and thank you for listening